Hey guys, David here from Let's Talk About It. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the long delay in videos. I've been extremely busy lately um, with work and, and doing things like that. Uh, also, Jonathan's in Germany, so I haven't been able to record any videos with him. Uh, Rick's very busy, so I haven't been able to record any videos with him. And uh, everyone that I'm friends with is actually really busy, so I haven't really been able to record videos lately. Uh, for the people that do watch this uh, podcast or do listen to this podcast and enjoy it, uh, new videos to come very soon. I will be doing a Godzilla marathon um, uh, leading up to my re eventual review of King of Monsters with Jonathan. Um, hopefully that video will come soon, but uh, I will be starting a Godzilla marathon soon. Just talk about different movies that I like and movies that I've seen and different impacts that it's had on cinema as a full uh, because honestly it's had a lot of them. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. What I'm here to talk about and the main reason for this video... Well, first of all, I want to say that I'm pissed off. Um, I just saw the Avengers trailer the for the game, the new game that's coming out. Terrible trailer, by the way. Awful. Um, it does not look like a good game at all, which doesn't bother me at all. If it's not a good game, who cares? I'm, you know, whatever. Um, I haven't really been... Looking for, I mean, I've been excited, but I, you know, I figured I'd just get it when it came out for a deal. And, but here's why I'm pissed off. Because this is an Arkham Knight situation, and what I mean by that is the twist is so painstakingly obvious, you wonder why they even try to make it a twist in the first place. And here's what I mean by that: Cap in the game is clearly a bad guy. Absolutely, 100% clearly going to be either revealed at the end that he's a bad guy, or in the middle of the game, the mid-game twist, reveal that he's the main bad. And this is for a couple of reasons why you can sniff this, why you can smell this coming from a freaking mile away. First off, he looks like a freaking bad guy in the trailer. He looks like a bad guy. From, from the moment the trailer starts, he looks like a bad guy. Like, there's no denying it. Like, you look at him and you just want to say he's the bad guy. Second off, when everyone goes to check out what's happening on the bridge, he stays on the freaking helicarrier. He doesn't ask anybody to stay with him. He doesn't ask Thor to stay with him. He doesn't ask Iron Man to stay with him. He doesn't have ask Hulk to stay with him, or even Black Widow. He makes everyone go to the bridge to fight off Taskmaster and his goons, and he stays on the helicarrier. So, obviously, he's the bad guy. In the trailer, the girl that's talking, I don't know who's talking, maybe it's its Morgan Stark or whatever, or maybe it's, its I don't know, maybe it's uh, uh, Gwen Stacy, I don't know who it is. She says, some think they were st set up. Yeah, Cap set them up, obviously. I mean, Cap is the bad guy in this game. And it's so painstakingly obvious that you, you wonder why they even try to make it a twist. Uh, and another thing that I hated about this trailer is... Again, if you haven't seen the trailer, Cap dies in the trailer, the very beginning of the trailer. But you know he's not dead because it shows you game a little bit of gameplay for Cap, like it shows a little bit of gameplay for everybody. He dies in that trailer, and they're mourning his loss. Clearly, he's the freaking bad guy. Clearly, he's pulling the strings. Either that's going to be revealed at the end of the game, or it's going to be revealed as a twist in the, mid of the, in the middle of the game. And again, this is a Arkham Knight situation. For those of you who have not played Arkham Knight, they said time and time again that the Arkham Knight was going to be an original character. It was Jason Todd, and everybody knew it. Everybody smelt it coming from a mile away. And when they revealed it was Jason Todd, instead of just going, yep, we all saw it coming, everybody was pissed off. Because they promised it was going to be an original character. Just like they're saying, oh, nope, nope, Cap's dead. Cap's dead. Oh my gosh, everybody, he's dead. He's the freaking bad guy. It's obvious. Listen. Listen, either he's part of Hydra, or it, Tony Stark says in the trailer, the question was, were the Avengers a threat? That was the question. Were the, the Avengers a danger? Or Captain America is going to be like, the Avengers are dangerous, and they need to be destroyed, so I need to be the one to do it, and he's like one of those bad guys that thinks he's doing the right thing, right? Here's the problem with this. The problem is not that I have a problem with Captain America being a bad guy. 
I'm totally fine with that. You're allowed to like that version of Captain America. That's part of Hydra. It's completely subjective. It's fine if you like that. It's 100% fine if you like that. The problem with that is, if you're going to create a twist like that, don't make it so freaking obvious. Don't make it obvious. Do, do not make it so ungodly obvious that you can smell it coming from... Don't try to sell it as a twist. If you're going to make it that obvious... Showed it in the doggone trailer that he's the bad guy. Seriously, at the end of this trailer, I really thought you were going to hear Cap say Hail Hydra. Or or when he's in the when he's on the ship, I thought you were going to say hear him say Hail Hydra. Because it's that obvious that he's the bad guy. So that's why I hate this trailer. Because it's trying to sell you. It, it's trying to sell you that, that Cap died in battle. When it's clear the twist will be either at the end of the game, whether it's an end credit scene, or whether it's the mid-game twist, that he's the bad guy. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, which I don't think I am, which I, I, I'm, I'm 99% not, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I'm not wrong. If I am wrong, I will do the right thing and take this video down. I'm not mad at the game developers. If they ever find this video and want to sue me or whatever, I'm not mad at the game developers at all. All I'm saying is, if this is the twist, that Cap is the bad guy, just go ahead and reveal that he's the bad guy. Because you made it so stinking obvious. I mean, you can smell it coming from a mile away. Smell it. Anyways, that's my rant for this video. More videos to come soon. Again, I will be doing a God Godzilla marathon until I do my eventual review of King of the Monsters. Uh... And, uh, again, I want to apologize for delaying videos. Um, it's been a really tough couple weeks. I've been insanely busy, um, with work and everything, working massive amounts of overtime. Um, uh, so I just wanted to apologize to everyone. Uh, more videos to come very, very soon. Uh, I love you guys. God bless. Y'all have a great week. And I will see you in the next video. All right, bye. <laughs>